Hey everybody, OCD Hi-Fi Guy Mikey, where the music never sounded so good. So hey, I am back with you to uh, give you a little secret, secret of the industry. Um, and uh, it's called, You Don't Need to Be So Concerned About the Formats, okay? Um, they will have you believe that... It means everything. You got to have MQA, you got to have DSD, you got to have high res PCM. Everybody's tripping over themselves to get the I squared S or the whatever it is that does the high res this or that. Um, it's not needed. It's not needed. Okay, you don't need to you don't need to lose it on the format, okay? Take it with a grain of salt in other words, okay? This is how I look at it. Okay. On my rig High res and non high res, it doesn't matter. It's like it's like the same. What makes a difference is a good recording and a bad recording. Okay, so there's crappy DSD times four. There's crappy um, uh, uh, MQA. There's great MQA. There's great PCM three ninety whatever. Okay, so the the bottom line is really it depends on the recording and how the production was done and the recording really the first the first part the tracking. Uh, is is most important. Um, I have, I listen to, I mean, 44.1, 16-bit 44.1 sounds absolutely phenomenal here. Um, so really, you needn't be concerned with the actual format, the file format, as much as you should how how well the recording was done. And even then, it's not really make or break. Okay, some rigs it is. In some rigs, a bad music, bad song sounds absolutely horrible, and you just, it's like utterly, like remember CD? CD was like that. A bad CD was just like, ah, it was, I could, oh, you can't even take it, you know? But bad on my rig, you know, it's, it's, it's not that bad. You know, it's like, um, and I take, I have old DACs. I have 30-year-old DACs that are not even... Highfalutin ones from back then. Well, they're you know they were good brands, but they weren't their top of the line. It's like the entry level. Some of them are one up or something like that, and and they sound phenomenal, man. I mean, and 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 even now using Spadiff, you know, they sound great. Uh, so I don't think you need to give uh, the format so much credence. Okay, I know there's new people out there racking their brain, reading all about the formats, trying to decide which one do I get, which one's important. Oh man, and it's just to scramble your brain keep you lost. You know, I mean, that's like almost seems like the whole plan is to keep people lost so that they can just keep feeding you new stuff each year that, that, that they say is important. You know, they, it's they again. Ooh, they. Um, and, uh, you know, because I tell you, it's a marketing machine and it's a marketing game and marketing makes the bucks. So um, that is of primary drive for some folks. That is their primary ambition. And um, for some of us, it's not. We know that it'll come anyways if we just do the right thing and, 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 and come from the heart. So um, what I'm telling you is don't, don't get distraught about the formats, okay? Don't get hung up on it. Don't let it get you hung up. They have all sorts of BS surrounding them. The way I look at new formats is it's just a way to sell the whole catalog of music all over again to, you know, the same people. So they've been changing formats for a long time. And, uh, you know, 1644 is that is, is, is beyond, well, 60, what is it? 1648 is like that one absolutely beyond any human hearing. I mean, even 1644 is beyond human hearing. You know, but it's it's 1648 goes above 20K, still kind of linear, and will support the harmonics that are within the he hearing range, you know, are below 20K. So, um, but um, really the difference comes from the recording, again, not from the format. So don't get hung up on the format. Don't think I need to have this, I need to have that. Um, I got a DAC a, a while back that was um, a Metrum Acoustics Adagio. And this thing came and it is like, it's just, it's, it's an R2R, they have modules, it doesn't do any sort of filter, it doesn't upsample, it doesn't, um, it doesn't do DSD, it just like, uh, it just, it just does the bare basics and it's like, 
I'm not doing anything. Screw you. If you want to buy me, buy me. If you don't, you don't. And there was something really great about that because it was just, it was just the ba the raw basics. And and it was a great sounding deck. It still is a great sounding deck. Um, so don't get hung up on the formats because it's not about the format really. And if your rig is really bad, if you're streaming, let's say you're not doing CD, okay? You're, you're streaming or you're coming from a server. If your rig is really bad with some songs and really good with others to the point that you're actually concerned about what song is coming up in the random, you know, like mix or whatever, there's something wrong with your rig, okay? It's not the way it should be. In a dialed rig, everything sounds, everything sounds acceptable. You, you, you get the emotion from every song. Even if it's a shitty recording, you still get all the emotion that the guy's trying to put across or gal, whatever, the band's putting across. Um, you still get it and it doesn't annoy you. Okay, so a bad recording won't like run you out of the room on a sorted rig, okay? There's something up and I've been through the rigs that do that and I thought, well, it's so good now, my rig is so good now that I really, the shitty music is really bad, you know, and I can, I can just, I'm out of there, you know, I mean, it's so bad because I can hear it so well. No, no, there's something up with that. There's something up with that because I was going up, 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 and then you get to that level where, where, where it's like you hear the difference between good and bad, like really big difference. They all sound bad down here, right? <laughs> They're all kind of crappy. And then as you go up, you're going up, you're going up, and then you hit this place where you really, all of a sudden you realize, wow, I can really hear how poorly that was recorded and all this stuff. And then you transcend that. You transcend that into an area where everything sounds great. I mean, it, it, and then certain things, there's certain things are phenomenal. Okay, I shouldn't say everything sounds great. Everything sounds good. And then some things sound phenomenal. You're just like, oh my God, like, ugh, wow. It's like, it's like, I call it hallucinatory, hallucinatory, because it is, it is so profoundly real that it's like, you, it's like you're tripping, you know, it's like, damn, you know, wow, this is extraordinary. And this is like supernatural level of hi-fi playback. So if there, if, 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 if you can't stand some songs and you're streaming and you've got, you know, I would look into the rig to see what it is. If you're having problems, contact me and I'll help you sort through it. Um, and we'll find out where the, where the, where the issue is and get, get to exercise the demons because, uh, there's some demons in there. There's some gremlins. So I just wanted to share that little piece of knowledge with you that I have in my head. Let it out, you know. And so you guys can grow because that's what it's all about. So see you.